Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here are the keys for this game. Hydration, bananas, oxygen tanks. Got to make sure everybody's in shape and nobody cramps up because both of these teams ranked nationally in passing. The secondaries and receivers, they're going to be running all over the lot and we expect the scoreboard to reflect just that. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the stop at about the 49. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Completes it across the middle. And he is drilled at the 28. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. From their own 43-yard line, first down. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49.
He's taken down at the 49. That pass play goes nowhere. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Hill is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. They line up at the six. It's second down. Florida State is up by a touchdown. Going long. Across midfield, a junior makes the catch. The 10. Touchdown, FSU. converts the extra point. A short two-play, 94-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 14-0. Graves is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. The Seminoles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He's going to try and scramble. Second and long, ball on their own 14. He goes downtown. Can't connect. to the tailback and down he goes right around the 16 yard line that makes it fourth and long. Ross to punt it's away and it's a booming punt he's got the corner he's at midfield he's at the 40 He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The Seminoles are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. It's complete. Tackle at the 16-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Got a man, watch out here. Huge play, and it's gonna be first and goal. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. They 
go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Rose complete touchdown. And for Glenn, that's his third touchdown pass of the first half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. And for Moses, he was on the receiving end of a pair of touchdown passes. The Cardinals win it, 34-27. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Florida State's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a game in five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. They bring him down in the backfield. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Quick strike, and he drops it. That brings up third and three. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. Hill is back deep to return the punt. Tackle at the 17-yard line. The Seminoles are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. Yeah, it's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and taking advantage of them. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 33. Well, the defense has got to be very frustrated. They just gave up a huge play. They were in position to make a play on the football, but the quarterback and wide receiver and their chemistry, they were able to overcome the tight coverage from the defense. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of 12 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long.
They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Five wide. He wants it all going long. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 82-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. The score now, 27-0. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Seminoles are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Hey, they can come out relaxed and just have some fun. They've got nothing to lose because things can't get any worse. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. Jones with the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We're through one quarter. The Seminoles are up big. It can only get better. We head to the second quarter in a lopsided ball game. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play from their own 38-yard line. Second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. three-yard line. It's second down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Side for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 42 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Mike's 15. Let's go. Tackle made around the 28 yard line. Right 
Gets out to around the 18. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. 20, 59, Philly, 59. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's taken down at the 11 yard line. Florida State in control. Steps up in the pocket. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. From the six yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Seminoles. He makes the PAT. Braves gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. Zips it to the back. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. That's a game 15 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, 10. and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Around the 39 yard line. Call again 21 yards. First down. From the 39 yard line. First down. 86 to man. 86 to man. Watch this. Get out of here. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Looking for six. Doesn't get there. Plain and simple. If he doesn't come in with a hard hit to knock the ball free, that's a touchdown. Third down now. They need to get it to the 29. He's hit and taken down. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. That brings us fourth and seven. Let's go, Stan. Make some noise. Go. Just get. Check, check. Let's go. Check. Do. it fly and it's intercepted I think that interception pretty much sums up this whole game the throw was lousy and the defense simply stepped up and made yet another play 
First down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Florida State with a big advantage. He's got a man open deep. Across midfield. Got it to the senior. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. You hate to say that a game is over so early, but unless they make some incredible changes and fast, I just don't see how they can come back from this. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. He's to the 20. Breaks one. And they finally knock him out at the 36. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. And he's sacked. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Seminoles with a huge lead. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Florida State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative. So predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. There's a fumble. The defense falls on it. And he tackles him hard at the 26. Johnson's the guy everyone has their eyes on right now, Kirk. And he comes with a lot of expectations. Time will only tell if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After, After reviewing the play, play 
The ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Man left, man left. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. Keith picks up about four yards with a catch. Hill, back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. What a collision. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been a fun afternoon because he's having a lot of success. And the reason is he's in tune with his receivers and they're really playing with a great rhythm. But I also think a big key to his success today has been the offensive line. Time and time again, they've done a good job of giving him the amount of time he needs back in the pocket to be able to read the defense and then make a throw downfield. So good job by the big guys up front. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Florida State is winning big. Makes it out to about the 40. it up the middle for a nice run. From the 34-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Intercepted. Brought down at the one yard line. Wait a sec. Who, who's calling the plays here? You've got a huge lead and you're still throwing the football into coverage? What are you doing trying to let the guy get back into the game? It's first down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Gets it on the pitch. Touchdown, Tennessee! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Well, they run it left and a nice tackle right there. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. 
Florida State. Up by a big margin. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Midfield. And they bring him down at the 44 yard line. From the 44 yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in into the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Florida State comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. And he's level at the 16-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Gets to about the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That's three down and one to go. The Seminoles are up big. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's taken down at the 19. That's a loss of about five. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes, so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's the 11th play of the drive. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made just outside the goal line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They put everyone up on the line. And they make the stop around the one-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Florida State looking to put this game away if they score here. Touchdown, Florida State! And he adds the extra point. It was a 13 play, 85 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And it looks
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Volunteers have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Slings it. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action works so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Quick throw. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. just picked off he's at the 40 he's at the 30 to the 20 the 10 and he will score great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house man those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact Florida State Comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Graves is lined up to kick this one off. He got all of this one. Great kick. The Seminoles have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He delivers. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. He's out of bounds at the 45. That'll make it second and inches. Short throw over the middle and it's picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Florida State looking to add to this big lead here. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, offense. And 
and he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Herbie. When you're putting your game plan together as an offensive coordinator, the one thing you're kind of counting on is the senior quarterback's going to avoid mistakes. That has not happened today. Hopefully he can put this behind him and just try to move forward for the rest of this game. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Seminoles. the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown he makes the PAT everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff Nice kick, plenty of distance. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Here's an opening. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. Less than three minutes in the game. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. Gets rid of it quickly. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. It was a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. There's a flag on the field. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. 
You know, there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an onside kick, but Still kicking the ball down. out of bounds is one of the last things you'd be worried about. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Tackled for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That's a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 45. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll bring up third and eight. A little over a minute in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. To the 10. Touchdown, FSU! Grant's had high expectations since he was a high schooler, and now it looks like he's every bit as good as suggested. Congratulations to him on his first touchdown. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 44-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Grace looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. He laterals. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. From their own 25-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. throw he's knocked out of bounds at the 38 this isn't even the best example but I'm gonna tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days from their own 38 yard line it's first down makes the grab past the marker brought down right around the 46 yard line first down and he carries the ball for a nice game. Florida State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.